Okay. What about today? Yeah. Beautiful today. Yeah, beautiful day outside. Lonnie's uh, telling us, I mean, Lonnie, it, it was about normal for today, right? You're right. It it normal? It, like Dana said, it's a beautiful looking day out there. Getting into your day tomorrow, opening day in New York City is exciting, yeah. right? Uh, it's going to look beautiful. It's just going to be significantly colder outside. So right now, that shot looks pretty darn good. You got a few more clouds overhead than you had earlier. 49 degrees. Earlier, you had hit 55, which is exactly where you should be. And basically, the entire forecast is on track. We had talked about today being the pick of the week. Well, it's on track to be the pick of the week because we have a squall line that is on track to pass through the area overnight, maybe into our northwest suburbs like around 11 o'clock tonight and then through the city around 1 a.m. Cold air is on track for your opening day at Yankee Stadium and mild air is on track for Saturday. Not a great Saturday because rain is also on track for Saturday. So I'll show you how that's going to happen, how you get the mile there, maybe 70, but with a rain chance. So here is what we're watching currently. And this is going to come through late tonight. You got this front around Buffalo. You see the snow around Buffalo as well, some leading rain showers. We are calling for a little bit of snow in our northwest suburbs as this blows through. And it's going to do that. It's going to blow through so quickly. You may very well miss it. I mean, it's going to be in, it's going to be out. It puts down like three tenths of an inch of some snow up around Monticello, but you know, zeros for everybody else. That doesn't mean you're not gonna see some snow flakes flying around. They're just not gonna be collecting on the ground. So north and west, a little coating for some folks. The next precip chance is way out here. There's your spin offshore of San Francisco. That low pressure system and the associated front will make its way to our area by, by Friday, later in the day into Saturday. And Saturday, it's a mild day, but you gotta have your umbrella. So we watch this little front here with them, some snow squalls and a few rain showers push through the area. That's late tonight, 11 a.m. It comes 11 p.m. into our northwest suburbs, exit the east end by say four or five in the morning. You then get one chilly day on Thursday and then that's it. You're back to normal by the time you get to Friday, uh, by the time you get into your day on Friday, but Friday afternoon, there could be a little bit of a rain chance here that develops, but you're about average for temperatures, but a rain chance starts to develop later Friday, better rain chance as you get into your day on Saturday. But with this front that's coming through the air, and you can clearly see where the front is, right? I mean, here's the mild air, there's cold air. Ahead of this front, this is all of a southwest flow. And boy, that's just going to surge those temperatures up. Looks like 60s and maybe even some 70s out there. We're going to go 33 for your overnight low tonight. That brief burst of snow north of the area, brief little burst of rain pushing through the city. Gusts maybe 20, 30 miles per hour. So during the game tomorrow, you'll max out at a temperature of maybe 48 degrees, but with a strong wind blowing out there, it'll feel like you're in the 30s, maybe the lower 40s at best. It's a chilly opening day, but again, a good looking opening day with sunshine. So, you know, Owen, his highlight reel will look great, but it's just going to be a chilly one out there. You're 57 on Friday, late Friday. Saturdays when the next rain chance arrives. Saturday you hit 70, and just like a spring forecast, you expect to go up and down, up and down. You're back to 54 on Sunday, then back to the lower and mid 60s for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. And Wednesday could be questionable with a rain chance. Let's hope the wind is blowing out, though. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, first and we right Aaron Judge, go for it.